Skip it up and that up. This may be the funniest and most awkward thing that I've ever talked about on Review Tech USA. Not because it's like insanely shocking or or graphic or anything like that, but it just amazes me the stupid ass shit that human beings will get involved in and the lengths they'll go to to cause drama, for lack of a better word. So there's a show in the UK called Judge Render, and from what I've heard, he's like the UK equivalent to Judge Judy in the States. I tried to watch the show on ITV.com, but because I'm not from the UK, the website won't let me. But anyway, uh, <laughs> there was a case that he had on there where this guy named Thomas was at the Glastonbury Music Festival last year, and he was there with his two buddies who happened to be brothers, Michael and David. And while Thomas was shit-faced at this festival, he made a promise to the brothers Michael and David that he could complete Dark Souls by the next Glastonbury Music Festival, and Thomas, in his drunk-ass state, said to them that it would be, and I quote here, very easy. If he actually did say that, then I think that's pretty much proof that he was shit-faced, because no one in their right mind would ever say a Dark Souls game is very easy. But let's continue. Now, here is a picture of the two brothers. I have to give a huge shout out to the guy, Michael, for having an incredible afro. I, I wish I had the hair to have an afro like that. Well, anyway, this is Judge Rinder uh, listening to them give their story about how, you know, this guy Thomas was supposed to actually pay them money if he didn't complete Dark Souls and he doesn't look too impressed. Well, you would probably think, okay, Rich, do they have any evidence at this point that he guaranteed that he would complete Dark Souls? And according to the brothers, they had a printed contract that was drawn up by them to make sure that Thomas knew he had to complete the game by the next festival. Now, of course, Thomas swears because he was hammered. He doesn't remember any of the conversation. And the shit kicker is, are you ready? The contract wasn't signed by Thomas, and it looks like it was created in Microsoft Paint. Thomas says to the judge in his defense that he had gone to university, and he says here, and I'm quoting, a degree is easier than Dark Souls. And you know what? In most cases, unless it's like a medical degree, he's probably goddamn right. Well, first and foremost, here is a perfect example to show why drinking is bad. Because when you're hammered, you say dumbass shit that you wouldn't say sober, and you get yourself into predicaments. Beyond that, do I think that this case was serious? Do I really think they wanted money out of their friend? Probably not. Unless they're like grade A top-notch douchebags. But <laughs> why would you even bring this to like a fake courtroom like this? Anyway, even if you were just screwing around, and why would you want to piss off the judge by giving him a contract that wasn't signed by the guy who you wanted to complete Dark Souls without his signature on it? Why would you waste anyone's time? Why This is such a waste of time all around. And if you guys were serious and this guy Thomas was your friend, I would hate you. <laughs> I would, okay, yeah, you could say, well, he promised he would do it. But he was shit-faced, and it's a fucking video game. I hope you weren't serious, because if you were serious about this and you actually wanted a hundred pounds out of him, you were like the prime example of what's wrong with the gaming community. So no matter what, I don't give these guys a pass. If they were just trolling and screwing around because they wanted their 10 seconds of fame on the internet, it's still annoying. Like, what a waste of time. And if they are serious and actually wanted, like, some money from this guy just because they wanted him to complete a video game and they asked him to do it while he was shit-faced, you're douchebags for doing that. So you don't get a pass either way from me. No matter what your motivation was for bringing your friend to court, you're jackasses. Plain and simple. This is Rich Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Don't drink.